Hello, my name is David Chill, the self-styled hot foil guru, and also from Versatility in Print and the hotfoiluk.com website. I would like to say thank you so much to everyone who's been watching the videos over the years, and particularly this year, as we've had loads of comments from people who have inquired about the various techniques of hot foil printing. So from the questions that you've asked me today, what I thought I'd try and show you is perhaps a little quick cheat on how to position your printing plate or block onto something like a business card. But of course, you can translate that to putting a printing block onto any material of any size for your machine. So it can be a little bit technical, but it's just a way of getting your printing plate as close as you can to your printed position so you're not wasting too much stock when you are setting up your machine. So what we have here is we have a couple of printing plates. And what I'm going to do is, the, the way to do this is to measure them. So this is my printing plate here. And what I'm going to do for this one is measure the type uh, area, which is 75 millimeters in total. And I'm going to assume that I want to center it onto something like a straightforward business card. So what I want to do is try and find the center point, both lengthways and widthways. So what I'm going to do here is at 75, I'm going to take half of that, which is 37.50, and use a pencil and just put a pencil mark on the top, down the side, and to the back. And you'll see why it's important to do that in a minute. And then I'm going to do the same on exactly the other side. Take the center of that and then take a point, which is, so the typeface there is 60 millimeters. I want to do half of that 30. So I'm going to put a mark and then place another mark and bring that round to the back and place another mark. So I've now done the top and the bottom. I'm now going to measure from side to side. And this here is about 33 millimeters. So I'm just going to take that and again do the halfway point on one side and measure the halfway point on this side and take this round and mark it through to the back and do exactly the same. So I don't know if you can see now here, but what we have is we have four marks that come from the front round to the back and I can tell where my center point is. Now, if this is my business card, again, a little bit like Blue Peter, what I've done is I've actually, if I'm centering it, but you could, for example, put a mark at the lower part or the higher part if it is slightly asymmetrical. And I'm now going to hopefully show you, so there is a cross which I've drawn in pencil, and you should be able to see that when I come to put this, I'm lining up the mark that I've created on the back to the mark that I've created on the card. So what I want to do is with a little bit of sellotape, I'm just going to double it over so it's like creating a double-sided effect. And then if I can, where there is no image part, I'm going to place a piece of sellotape and then put it back on here. So now I have that pretty much centralized into the middle of that card. All I need to do now is put a little bit of die mounting tape on the back of my die, probably four very small pieces in each corner, one, two, three, four, and then take that over to my platen machine where I can then start to line up and that will give me not exactly the perfect position, but pretty close 
to where I want to be to have that card directly set up on the business card. So that's, um, that's a quick cheat on how to set up and line up a plate. Thank you very much for watching our batches of videos. I am David Chill from Versatility in Print and the hotfoiluk.com website. Our telephone number, should you like to phone and inquire about hot foil printing, any of the supplies you might need, either new or second hand, you can contact me in the UK on 01527 871 500. Thank you very much.